Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I had the strangest vision on the way to church today. It had to do with that, uh, that other vision about a polyamorous situation in which uh, everybody wore like a devil mask. And uh, I wrote about that in another blog. It had in the title the word mummery, I think. And I got to thinking about how I've promoted in years past the notion of uh, speaking out loud some strong affirmation or prayer uh, during the course of lovemaking as a way of uplifting and transforming the energies on earth. For instance, uh, one, one affirmation that I've suggested is speaking out loud the words peace, love, and joy. Of course, this is only one of many, many ways of doing it. Hallelujah, Amen, are traditional. Some even say Gloria in excelsis Deo. <laughs> There's just many ways of, of, of uplifting earth. Uh, at times when we feel very joyful, very happy, and so forth. And so... Getting back to this this notion of a, a like a play or pageant or a ritual in which everyone wears devil masks and the act of sex is performed, say in a polyamorous way, um, it seems to me that though they may not speak the words in their hearts, they're saying the exact opposite of peace, love, and joy. Something more along the lines of war, hatred, and would that be sadness or upset? War, hatred, and sadness. Uh, so, in a way, it's a counterpoint to the practice that that light workers suggest. Um, so, but here's the thing. Creation is fashioned out of, out of light and love. So the fabric of creation contains those qualities of, of love and light. When what we do is in, in alignment with, with God and His creation, with the All that is the One, then, then it, it affects everything everywhere and very strongly. And that is because we have aligned our hearts and minds and wills with the heart the mind and the will of God who is everything. So so our energy matches insofar as we are capable those energies that pre pervade creation, you see. So fortunately for us, any number of people um, putting forth emotions of war and hatred and uh, upset have less of an effect upon creation than just one person or two people or three people who proclaim the joy of celebration of, of love in the physical sense, you see. So, um, so I suggest, even though you may feel all alone in doing it, go ahead and and celebrate those qualities uh, during acts of love, whether they be acts of polyamory or um, personal amory or couples amory, whether they be with a spouse or with a friend, no matter what they may be. Uh, celebrate those, those positive emotions and in that way, though you be few, so the world will be transformed through you.